Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Agent Hugo games for the Nintendo Wii. Agent Hugo, Lemon Twist and Hula Holiday are Crash Bandicoot imitations. Lemon Twist tries to imitate the first Crash Bandicoot game, whereas Hula Holiday tries to imitate the mechanics of later Crash Bandicoot games. Ok, but I have to mention that even if Lemon Twist is a clear ripoff of the first Crash Bandicoot game, Hula Holiday took only some platforming elements from Crash and left the awesomeness and variety and fun of Crash Bandicoot to the Crash games. They didn't rip off that part. But when you play Hula Holiday, you feel you, you feel Crash Bandicoot, you, you feel the influence. But these similarities are pretty big, as you've seen in my old Agent Hugo games for PS2 video and as Pixel Pursuit pointed out, the similarities are so plenty that you can objectively call the game a Crash Bandicoot ripoff. I will leave the link in the description for Pixel Pursuit's video. It's a PS2 review, I know, but just know that the Wii version and the PS2 versions are, they, they are almost the same game. The only difference is that you play the PS2 version with this and the Wii version with this. And the bad part about the games is that if they are Crash Bandicoot ripoffs, you would expect them to be good. I mean, Crash Bandicoot is an awesome franchise. But the games aren't. Agent Hugo isn't a good game. Neither of the two nor Lemon Twist, nor Hula Holiday. They are dull and uninteresting. You have to push yourself to finish them, even if they aren't broken or anything, and are promising on paper the most, you have to force yourself to play more. Hugo Magic in the Troll Woods is a very dull game. It's a basic platformer with some puzzles added, and one of the puzzles are math equations and the other is just some basic bridge building. In Rust the game is a very basic platformer and it gets boring. You also have some attacks but you will use the fire attack anyway because it's the only one that makes you invincible while attacking. The controls are clunky and as I said the game is dull. It might be good on paper and might seem interesting for kids because it has math equations but it's not a good game, it's incredibly dull, you start to die inside of boredom while playing the game. There are good parts about the game too, but they are so diluted that before you reach those good parts you already had enough of the game. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.